This is another way to make the Zion Castle, where it's a longer way and has some very interesting moves in it. Begin first of all with opening A, and then you stretch over the design with your mouth and grab the far little finger string and hold it in the teeth, drawing it out, dropping nothing in the process, but just draw that out. And then you pass the left index over that thumb string and under the thumb string running to the other side of the design. And then the right index goes under the other mouth string, release the mouth loop. So you've now got an upper index string and release the thumbs. Now the thumbs are going to go into the lower little finger loop, draw back that near string, and then go into the upper index loop and pick up the near string, and then do a Navajo, a Navajo move. The lowest loop comes up and over the thumb on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Like so, that's it palm to palm position again. Now release the upper index loops only, draw tight, and now with the indices lift the thumb loops to be the new upper index loop, releasing the thumbs in the process. Thumbs go into the little finger loops from below, pick up the near little finger string, draw towards you under all the strings, go into the upper index loops, draw the near string out, again do another Navajo move, the lower string lifted over the upper string and release, the lower string lifted up over the thumb and release. And now the middle fingers come over the strings near to them and under the near index string and keep palms turned up and you get the design like this. It's like a net design. Just hold it for a little bit to show the net design. Now you have to drop all the strings off the middle fingers or index fingers. Drop everything apart from the thumb loops and the little finger loops and draw tight. That's it. Now, little fingers go into the thumb loops from below, pick up the far thumb strings, and the indices go from above into the little finger loop and pick up with a rotating movement the near little finger string. Catch it between the two fingers, hold tight, and turn palms upwards, and four diamonds should appear. This is a very interesting uh, kind of reverse move to the Caroline extension, but comes every so often in the Palm Weekly games. Now to turn it into a Caroline extension move, all you do is grab where the two strings cross, the thumb and the index loop, then put the little finger away from you into the thumb loop and the thumb into both the loops that you're holding in the hand. So again, take them off, take thumb and index fingers off, little finger away from you through the thumb loop, and the thumb goes through the thumb loop and the former index string away from you. Now this time, indices under the far thumb string, Press thumbs against the side of the finger, turn palms away, and you should have four diamonds again, the four diamonds that you saw before extended in the other way. Thumbs slowly let go. Don't pull too tight the design, but then the thumbs go into the outside diamonds of the four and draw back, also releasing the indices onto that at the same time. Again, Caroline extension. Now we have that strange shape like so. Now we're going to do a very interesting move. The hand goes through, the left hand goes through under all the strings, and you bring the right hand down the arm. Don't drop anything yet, but you're going to drop both strings now and leave two loops lying on the hand. And now take them off with a thumb coming towards you, a little finger going away. You could do the same with this hand so you see more clearly as we do it. The thumb goes right through close to the palm, drop all together, and the Little finger goes away from you and the thumb comes towards you and then just move the hand back into position. Then we do this usual kind of move, which is the thumbs into little finger loops, bring up the near little finger string and then do a Caroline extension. It's a mess until you do the rotation movement like so, which gives you the three diamonds similar to beetle nut. Now we're going to lay these three down 
uh, this is three design, three diamond design down, because we have to pick it up in a certain way, and I've done a little drawing to kind of help with that, because it's quite hard to see. So little finger goes under one string there, and the thumb goes under two strings like so. The little finger under one string, and the thumb goes under that one where the two cross. There's a little crossing there, uh, a link if you like. Thumb goes under the link, and the little finger goes under the one string which is nearest to you. Have a look back at the drawing if you can't quite get that. Okay, so little finger under the one string, and the link gets taken up by the thumb and pulled tight. Again, Caroline extension, turn hands away, and you should have two diamonds. Now this time you have to lay the two diamonds down. Actually, if you pull it back on your knee, it's easier to do because you're turning it upside down. I want to show you here, but that should be done with your knee. And then release the thumbs, hang on with the little fingers, but release the thumbs. And now the thumbs go into the diamonds and pick up the central two further top parts from you. Again, Caroline extension once you've picked up with the thumbs and your finger string, and you have a mess of it like this. Again, I've shown the drawing. So the thumbs go away from you, under the double string, there it is, the cross is this time, not a link, go under that cross, and the little finger goes under the single string. Again, Caroline extension. And now you probably recognize we're going into this design called cassowary. If you just follow through these moves, you'll find it elsewhere. If you looked up cassowary, you'll find the same moves. Um, the one thing I would say about this is um, when you look at this design, the very last move, you might find it doesn't open in. Um, I think I might have some difficulty here. Um, yeah, just follow these through. Now, it's at this move, yeah. You have to make the hands reverse their moves. Okay, just remember that. If you look at Cassidy, the hands reverse their moves. And on you go. Left hand is doing what the right hand usually does. Okay, I hope you managed to make it. It's well worth doing. If you persevere with it, I think you'll probably get it. Okay, bye now.